Hi everyone, I'm here with a quick video on automatic writing. Now, what is automatic writing? The reason, first of all, why I felt like I wanted to share more about this topic is I just got out of a coaching session with somebody and we talked about automatic writing. And she does not have any psychic abilities and all of that stuff, but automatic writing is something that everybody can do. I believe that anybody can do automatic writing and that there is a big chance that most people have already done automatic writing without realizing it. Most people have channeled before without realizing it. And that is something that I also teach in my free course. Um, so yeah, most people have already channeled. They have already done automatic writing because when you are a child, you are open and a lot of the times when children are drawing and when children are writing in their diary and stuff, when they are still very young, they are doing automatic writing, they are doing automatic drawing. And a trick really is to go to your inner child and when you do try to do automatic writing, it is to connect to your inner child because that is the person that is not going to judge you. The judging usually comes from outside sources. When you reach a specific age, then you hear, oh, you have to stop fantasizing, you are imagining things, now you are lying, you're getting too old for this. This is all stuff that I cover in my free course, and this is programming. And it is as easy as removing this programming, and then you can easily and effortlessly you can do automatic writing. You can just do this without um, any hesitation. When you take away the hesitation, when you take away the resistance, that is all you need to do. It's not about gifts because we are born with these gifts. There are a few different steps in developing automatic writing because when we are older, we have to start from scratch again. We have to connect with the inner child again. And when you have resistance to accepting yourself as the source of information, your higher self, when you try to do automatic writing with the higher self, you first have to accept the higher self as an authority of information. Now, what you can do, a first step, for instance, is that you can write the alphabet on a letter-sized paper. Just in capital letters, you write the entire alphabet and you put your finger in the middle and you bring yourself to a place of meditation. You bring yourself to a place of being in the moment where the ego is in the back seat. And you just allow for your finger to move from letter to letter and see what word comes up. Now, in the beginning, this may be total nonsense, but 99% of the time, the first word that people get when they try this method is the word hello or I love you. Why is this? Because these are things that we don't tell ourselves enough. We're not going to tell ourselves I love you. We are supported by an entire team of spirits that wants to say hello we are with you so a lot of the times the first word is going to be hello now i really just gloss over this super quick here in this video if you want the bigger version the more detailed version of how to do this how to develop this please send me a message I have an entire video course where I will get you connected to your intuition that is completely free. Now, what you can do after that is that you go and you sit behind, um, like you sit in front of your laptop or you take a notepad, whatever, and you write yourself questions, uh, yes and no questions that only require an answer that is either yes or no. And that is how you practice. But the thing is, you don't want to leave time in between you writing down the question and you writing down the answer because that is going to create an opening for the ego to come in. So this is just real quick, of course, because this is way more nuanced. There is a lot of subconscious reprogramming that comes into this that I get into deeper in the free course. But after you do that, you can start by writing full answers to yourself and the trick again is to really go to the inner child 
take away the ego so that you are not judging yourself so that you're not judging what you are writing what your higher self is writing and there's just no stopping this because then the ego will kick in i don't know if you guys have ever heard of the author neil donald walsh he's an author and i um read his books when i was a teenager and they are titled conversations with god now he talks about his automatic writing journey and how he started channeling his spirit guides which he just named god conversations with god and he really gets into the resistance like that he experienced because you will experience resistance and you just have to keep on going and keep on practicing and remember that it's supposed to be fun this is not supposed to feel like it is going to pressure you because that's also a thing that i really want to tell you guys when you and an, not answer when you ask yourself questions you're gonna want to make sure that you start with easy questions because if you are right off the bat gonna bombard your higher self or your ego whichever is still um, at the wheel at the time if you're gonna ask these questions that are very heavy that you have been wanting to know the answer to for a very long time you're gonna add pressure you're gonna add expectations to an experience that is supposed to be innocent that is supposed to be fun that is supposed to be yeah an open experience so try to build it up try to start with easy questions that only require a yes or no answer and slowly build it up and before you know it if you try this every day for maybe five minutes you're going to be having entire channeled back and forth conversations with your higher self so yeah let me know if you would like access to this free course it is also on my website you can find it in the video courses submenu you can ask me how to access it in this video course i also talk about different ways to connect with your spirit guides in meditation i talk about different types of spirit guides i talk a little bit about psychic protection and that is one little thing that i would like to add before i stop that when you do this it is always important when you open up to anything that you don't just open up to whatever wants to come through because you have dominion over your reality and also over this experience because you are still the vessel for these beings and i know you guys know that i talk about this a lot it is important to really make sure that you are connected to mother father god source the universe whatever name you feel comfortable with that you go and connect truly to source consciousness and that that is the first thing that you do that you feel into your heart you connect to your higher self and you connect to source consciousness and from this high point of frequency then you go and see what resonates what guidance resonates with this frequency and then you can be open and see who wants to come through so yeah let me know how that works for you guys bye bye